Hey guys, so today's video is going to be kind of a three-part video. Um, we are going to be talking about what has been going on the last few weeks, and then we're going to be talking about what's kind of happening right now, and then what we're going to be seeing as far as my channel and stuff goes in the next um, few months or so. Um, and I just wanted to throw out a little disclaimer. Um, I am going to be talking about some things that might be to some people a little bit personal. I'm obviously not going to go into detail about any of these things. It's just going to be kind of an overview of what's happened the last few weeks. Um, I've been sick a lot and so I'm going to be talking about that. And so if you're one of those people that is like, oh my gosh, did not need to know that, please do not watch this um, because I don't want any of you to be offended or grossed out. Like I said, we're not going to be doing anything super detailed or anything like that, but I've been sick so I want to talk about it. Um, so if you guys watched my spring haul part one and part two, you know that in that video I was extremely sick. For those of you that watched that video and commented and um, whatever, thank you very much because I was surprised anybody watched it. I was very, very sick. I had a lot of stuff and I really needed to film it and so I did it anyways knowing that I wasn't feeling good and I barely got through the video. And it was because I had... Had a lot of stuff going on, but I've mostly been dealing with tonsillitis lately. And by the way, tonsillitis is one of the stupidest things on the planet. And so, around that time where I was filming that video, I had tonsillitis. I went to the doctor and I said, Hey, I've been having this, you know, my throat was kind of swollen and I was having some issues. And so I said, What's going on? So he took a throat culture and he's like, Well, it's not strep, which is great. Um, and uh, it's not mono. And um, so he gave me some antibiotics to help with that and I have never in my entire life had to take a full bottle of anything as far as something that the doctors prescribed to me it's always been for pain because of my accident so it's always been a as you need it kind of thing and I um, so I'm not super familiar with that and so he gave me moxicillin which is a very strong antibiotic to help with the um, infection or whatever I was having in my throat and like I said, my not having experience with that, I took it and about a week later I felt better, but the bottle wasn't quite empty yet. And so after about a week of feeling better, I um, I stopped taking it for a couple of days because I was like, hey, I'm better, yay, cool. And then the week after that, so I took it for a full week, and then the start of that next week, I noticed that in the back of my throat, I had these little, um, like this little white thing on this part, you know, on the... Was this right side of my throat? Sorry, I can't think right now. Um, and so I texted my mom, which is a nurse up at the hospital, and I'm like, what in the world do you think that is? Like, should I go get it looked at, or what, what's the deal? And uh, we eventually found out that it was tonsil stones, and tonsil stones aren't um, anything to be super concerned about. I mean, they're just, um, basically what the doctor said is like food gets lodged in there, and then the... Um, it gets lodged in these little pockets in your throat, and as they try to fight off, you know, whatever's there, it creates these little white things. Like I said, this is the part where I told you guys, if you guys are grossed out or offended, please don't watch. But, you know, and it was, and so I, you know, I kind of freaked out about it, but I was like, okay, whatever. And, and so not knowing what that was, I started taking the moxicillin again, I finished off the bottle. Well, the doctor did not tell me, and I did not know, that oftentimes um, antibiotics like that, because they're killing off both the good and bad um, bacterias or I don't know if it's bacterias but it's something in your body um, you can get infections from it you can get yeast infections I did not know that and so first week tonsillitis second week tonsil stones finished the moxicillin it got a yeast infection and so I was just absolutely miserable and so I'm like what the crap and so as I'm going through this yeast infection I do what every other person in the universe would do for a yeast infection and I go down to Walgreens and I go talk to the pharmacist what do I take for this monostat okay so I get the seven day one right because I want to make sure that I am you know get the best stuff there is and uh, you know get rid of this thing because yeast infections are not fun and I I haven't had a yeast infection for years, probably like seven or eight years, and I did not remember how much Monistat sucks. It just absolutely is the worst thing on the planet. The side effects from Monistat are almost worse than the yeast infection. I told my husband, I said, I would rather have the yeast infection than go through this, and he's like, you need to do this. And so he was very um, kind and helpful in sympathizing with me as I'm crying out in agony because this stuff burns and just hurts so bad. And so... Um, probably four or five days of that going on 
and my throat starts to act up again and I'm thinking oh my gosh my tonsillitis is probably coming back because I messed up on my medication because I'm a dummy and I didn't read the bottle um, and it was only after I read the bottle um, after getting the tonsil stones and I finished it that I realized oh you have to take the whole bottle or otherwise it might come back and so here I am thinking okay it probably came back and I was having some issues breathing like I couldn't breathe and it was really swollen on one side of my throat and I kept feeling like I had to swallow all the time. There was a couple of videos that I filmed, and I, I just couldn't film them at all because I kept coughing and I just couldn't talk at all. Um, and so I called up my mom again. You know, she's a nurse, and so I call her for everything. She probably gets tired of me, but um, I called her up, and I says, you know, what should I do? And she says, try eating some ice chips, take some ibuprofen, see if that takes the swelling down. Well, the next day I was still having issues with the breathing and stuff, and so I said, you know what, I'm just going to go in. Tell the doctor what happened. Hey, I didn't finish my moxicillin. This is what's going on. And so I go in there and, you know, he takes a formal throat culture, which I have yet to hear back from, sends it off. He said, while you're here, we might as well go ahead and do that. And by the way, there's this thing you can take called Diflucan, which is just one little pill that you take and it will cure your yeast infection. And so I'm, 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 I'm uh, bleh, can't talk apparently. I'm sitting there and I'm thinking to myself, are you serious? I went through four days of, of, of hell. To, to find out that basically I could have taken one teeny tiny little pill and my infection would have gone away. Oh, so super irritated about that. And then I also, um, as you guys know, I have ovarian cysts. Um, and so the day or two after the yeast infection went away, it was that time of the month for me. And that time of the month for me, be, having ovarian cysts means it's World War III pretty much for me. Um, you know, everything from, you know, there down. And so I get really, really nauseous. I th usually throw up for the first day. I'm extremely anemic. I'm pretty much bedridden for about two or three days straight. It's horrible. And so I'm probably, this is like second or third day for me, and it's not as bad as last month. And so, I mean, it was just pretty much four weeks, like three or four weeks of just one thing after the other. And I'm like, seriously, can I just have one week where I'm feeling perfectly fine? And so... That's pretty much is what's been going on. And so if you guys were wondering why I haven't been so active on a lot of my social networks and YouTube, it's because I've been dealing with all of that crap. So going forward, here's something very cool that um, that happened in between all of that. Me and my husband have been talking about me getting a laptop or some other um, device for a little while because... Right now we have a desktop and it's a gaming desktop. I play World of Warcraft, I play Diablo 3 Civilization. You know, we're both um, mostly me, but we like playing PC games and so that's mostly what that computer's for. But I also have to do my YouTube editing, my blogging, everything on there as well. And it was getting to be a little bit too much because he downloaded um, a Steam account on there and it messed up some of my stuff and I freaked out and got mad at him. And so, you know, I said, this wouldn't be a problem if I had my own laptop and he's like, you know, he agreed and he said, yeah, that would be a really great thing. And it just so happened that around that same time, I got approved for a credit on the um, PayPal bill me later. And so I was able to order a tablet um, through the PayPal. And so that is on its way and it will be here in about a week. And the cool thing about this tablet, um, I ordered the Samsung Note, the 10.1, and it's the one that has the pen that you can write on there cool thing about this tablet, it is going to replace everything for me. It is going to replace my iPhone um, so that I don't have to film on there anymore. Um, it has a lot better picture or camera on the Note than it does on my phone. And so the hopefully the video qualities will be a lot better for you guys. Um, it's going to act as a laptop for me and so I can do all my blogging on there. Um, I have a keyboard that I'm going to be ordering or that I ordered with it. Um, and so I can do all of my blogging. So basically I'll be able to film a video edit it on the same device, upload it on the same device, and just do all of it all in one. And since I'm getting back into drawing again, I can also do my drawing on there. And so um, some of the things that I'm going to be coming up or doing with that new tablet is obviously I'm going to have a lot more videos coming out because even on days where I'm not feeling good, I don't have to sit and boot up the entire desktop and you know do all that. I can lay back in bed. I can take it with me at work. I can edit pretty much anywhere I go because this thing is portable. And so that part is so awesome. I'm really excited about that. Um, for the first time, I'll be able to do drawing stuff on there. So if you guys are interested in seeing that, I'll be able to do that on there. I will be finally doing the Draw My Life video. It's probably going to take a while to do um, because those videos, if anybody knows, are very deep, very personal. Um, they're a little bit hard to do, but I will be doing that video 
Um, I also, I think, I haven't checked today, but I'm pretty sure I'm at my 200 subscriber goal, which thank you very much, by the way, for helping me get there. And so, as promised, there's going to be a giveaway coming up. And I have one half or one major part of the giveaway now already that I've um, purchased or received, but I need to figure out what else I'm going to put with it for you guys. And so that'll be coming up. Um, and so just a lot of cool stuff. This tablet is really going to help me quite a bit. Um, by being able to give you guys better quality videos because I figure if you guys are going to sit down and take the time out of your day to watch my videos, the least I can do is try and make something fun for you guys, try and make them as good a quality as possible. And right now that hasn't been possible because I film on my iPhone on my desk in a little car mount thing that's, you know, held down by bean bags on my desk. It's ridiculous. And so now I'll be able to film and do stuff on my tablet. Now eventually I do plan on buying a camera because with this credit as I pay it off I can buy more things. And so the next thing I'll be purchasing is I promised my husband he would get his PlayStation 4. I wanted to buy it for him for his birthday but we didn't have the money because um, of a surgery I had back in December. So, um, so after that I'm probably going to be getting my camera. So for now this tablet like I said I can film on it. I can then film or film and then um, edit it and upload it all in one device and so I'm really excited about that so that's kind of some of the things you guys can expect to see so um, keep in mind some of the keep in the back of your head some of the videos that you would like to see me start doing um, I'm hopefully going to be uploading and filming a lot more because I have a lot more freedom to do that with now and so um, keep an eye out for that if you guys have any suggestions for things you would like me to do in the giveaway um, I will do kind of a sneak peek and tell you that um, I'm doing a very big brush set. And so if you can think of anything super cool to go along with a big brush set to go with you or, you know, for the giveaway, um, I don't know what to do yet. And so if you guys have some suggestions, you're like, hey, I would really like to win this, let me know. And I will take that into consideration when I get the other half of your guys' prezzies. So I think that's pretty much everything. Hopefully that wasn't too much information for you guys. Speaking of TMI, I hope you guys liked the TMI video I did. Um, it was Forever Jen Nicole that um, asked me to do it and I couldn't say no to her because I love her to death. So um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys um, in my next video which hopefully will be on my new tablet. Bye!